This week on Erie Extreme. Misery Bay, that's where we're standing right now. I heard him screaming. You don't know whether he fell in or, or something bad happened. This is my brother-in-law. He's got something really big on here. Oh, that's a big one. I can't get its head. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Come on, you're all right. Three meal worm. That's right. Saving you money. Oh, man. Bye, fish. All right, good job. Here, get ready. <laughs> Whoa. I'm Dave LaFevre, and I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Exploring extreme places and culture, discovering extreme people, while encountering extreme weather. Where do I plan to do all this? Well, in my own backyard, of course. This is not your typical fishing show. It's unscripted, outside the box, and 100% real. This is Eerie Extreme. I'm getting too old for this. You know, Erie's a beautiful place in the winter. Did that just happen? treacherous driving back here. You definitely have to have a four-wheel drive when you're scouting for ice after these big snowstorms. Just hoping to to find some ice. You know, we had a couple of cold nights. This is the first time out looking. Hopefully we find what we're looking for, which is hard water. Man, this is a bummer. Looks like I won't be needing these. We're looking for ice, but not on the trees, on the lake. Whenever you're ready. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Right here is where we're gonna be ice fishing. This is some of the best water right here. Misery Bay, that's where we're standing right now. So I've got a five day break. I just got home from a tournament in Florida and I've spent the last three days scouting for ice. You know, when there's ice on Lake Erie, and this is the first day I woke up this morning and there's a little bit of ice out there, uh, you know that somewhere inland is safe. So we're gonna hit, uh, hit the road and see if we can get out there on the ice. Here's our first look at the bay coming up right here. It's frozen the whole way across. The last couple of years, I was the very first one out there. Three days ago, we were on the water catching big giant smallmouth. And here we are three days later, we're gonna be on the ice. So as soon as I cross the bridge by Perry Monument, I start seeing huts everywhere. So apparently, I won't be the first one on the ice this year, but I'm still fired up. I pull my stuff out of the van, and I'm gone. So I'm standing there, you know, and looking around at all the huts and all the people out there on the ice, and I couldn't help but wonder how cool it would have been to be there just a tad bit earlier. This is not the kind of way you want to start the day, I can tell you that. <laughs> I uh, lost a credit card this morning. The only good thing about this is I do not have any money and we need to buy stuff. That means you're buying. I had it in my right pocket. Yeah. 
Oh, that's not, not it. That's not it. That's nope. my old one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. A doofus. Let's go fishing. Just two days ago, we were looking at this and it was all just chunks of ice and open water. Today, look at it, it's a city out here. So every one of these guys that beat us out here, they all caught a fish before I did and I don't really like that too much. Ah, oh, drilling holes, it's so uh, exercisical. It's a word, look it up. You know, everybody has cabin fever. Everybody wants to get out there. So once I realized that the ice was safe, I took a little selfie and circulated it. That was a picture from two years ago, who cares? Truthfully, um, I didn't really catch anything there. So I decided to drill more holes and more holes and more holes. Can you drill a couple? At this point, you know, I didn't know if I was gonna catch anything. I'm going to walk around. This is a fish finder. That's a transducer. So this shows me what's down underneath the ice. On this show, we're not gonna get into a lot of the technical stuff. And I'm gonna walk around till I see one and then I'm gonna catch it. But my favorite things about ice fishing. And he will be my are the toys and gadgets. First fish of the year. I see my first fish of the year, but does he see me? Whew, man, I'm whooped. Come on, fish. There he is. <laughs> oh my, that is so, and it's a bluegill. Number one, it's gotta start somewhere. He's small, but I like it. And there's another one down there too. See, they see it coming from about 10 feet away. Here he comes, come on, come on. Oh, he's turning, no, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> I missed him, he ate it too. Here he comes, come on, come on, come on. You have to talk to him, that's part of the trick. Oh, I missed him again. Usually the harder they are to catch, the bigger they are. Come on, fish. Yeah, that's so awesome. He crushed it. <laughs> Bluegills, man, they're fun to catch. They make ice scoops for this. Yeah, that's eh, 10 degrees, so it's pretty warm. Wanna go grab me that ice scoop? Erie Extreme is made possible with the help of these fine local businesses. Fast Signs. Marquette Savings Bank. Sunburst Electronics. Country Fair, Sitco, We Create, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, Zodiac Diner, Presque Isle Angler Bait and Tackle, The Avonia Tavern, and World of Music. Once I finally figured out how to catch them, uh, it was on, and they were big. So Terry calls. Yo, this better be good. Dude, I just caught a giant while you were talking. I mean, like a giant. And after, you know, a little white lie, um, he decided to come out and bring his daughter along. 
So I decide to set the hut up. You know, it's way too cold for little kids. It's 10 degrees. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, shameless little doggy club. She's so cold. Are you shivering? Uh-oh, here comes one. Oh, yeah. So there are monumental moments, you know, things that are said that are so profound that they could literally change the course of the universe. Um, this is probably the most important statement I've ever made on TV. That You got it. We are a team of morons. What? We are. Check one, two, 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 two. Remember, it's not a typical fishing show. We want stuff. The mistakes are better than stuff. You know, like the reality of it. You know, like nose dripping. You know, stuff you'd normally cut. Anyway, I gotta walk back to the truck because I forgot something. And if I didn't forget something, that wouldn't be me. And I was starting to feel like Superman there for a minute. This walk back to my truck is brought to you by Ranger Boats. Still building legends, one at a time. As a result of my selfie from earlier, uh, Jason shows up. He's my brother-in-law, and let's just say there's only one Jason. I got a fish! Nice. He's going back! Okay. <laughs> You know, that, that was awesome. I mean, I heard him I heard him screaming. This is my brother-in-law. He's got something really big on here. I'm gonna help him land it, hopefully. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope he's okay. You know, I mean, I, with the, when it's that not safe, you know, I mean, the ice was literally like, what, two, two and a half inches thick. You don't know whether he fell in or, or something bad happened, or maybe he hooked himself in the face. We catch a lot of big fish here. This could be anything from a, steelhead to a big largemouth bass. It could even be a brown trout, which would be really cool. We ran over there and took the cameras in. It is a big one though, huh? Oh, oh boy. That's a two pound test. That's goat rope. You see him? Did you see him? Yeah, I just seen him. I'm gonna pull this out of here. I'm so excited and it ain't even my fish. There it is. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't see what it was though, did you? It's a steelhead. Is it really? Silver? Yeah. <laughs> I saw his tail. <laughs> oh, this is going to be cold. Yes, it is. Oh, that's a big one. Can you come stick your hand down here and grab this fish? I can't get its head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tail first, baby. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> See that bad boy? I'm holding your fish, Jay. I know. Terry and Lily show up, and Lily, who I've never met before, has never caught a fish through the ice. Lily, we're having a good old time fishing. My kids were busy today, so I adopted one for the day. <laughs> And we're gonna to try to catch her her first fish through the ice. Think we can do it? Mm -hmm. She asked some pretty good questions. How do you tell where you're, where the fish and stuff are? You wanna want me to tell you what we're doing here? Yeah. Probably a good idea, huh? We got that's the surface, mm -hmm. that's the ice, that red line. Mm -hmm. That other red line's the bottom. So it's really really simple. So you should be able to tell me how deep we are right now. Uh, ten feet. Right. So we're in ten feet. I got my jig down there. And you can see it right there, see it? Yep. When I move it. So anything else that shows up is a fish. So we put Terry to work and Lily, she became the star of the show. When we see a fish, then we gotta try to trick them into biting. It's just like playing a video game. I'm sure you're into video games, right? No. Nope. You're not? No. Nope. You're into fishing like, oh, look, look, look. Oh, that's so Did cool. Did you see that? Yep, there's two of them. I got one of them. Oh, yep, I saw him go. <laughs> Did you see that? Him. We actually seen him on the camera. Grab him, grab him. All right. Lily really liked seeing the fish on the underwater camera. That's a nice one. 
Now we're going to let you catch one. How's that sound? Okay. You want to let them go? Put them right down there in the hole. Bye, fish. All right, good job. So you're not into video games. You're into fishing like me. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You want to try it now? Here, here. Get ready. There's two of them. Get ready. See? You can see one there. Can we see our bait on there? Do you ever have so many cameras on you? No. You got a camera right there, camera back there, camera over there. You might as well take the mic. <laughs> she got on really quick. What are you going to call your new show? Uh -huh. Now, when you miss one on TV, you know what you're supposed to say, right? No. Drama. You know, like, oh, that was the biggest one I ever had in my whole life. <laughs> There's one. You see it? Yep. Come on, fish. Oh, he's gonna, not going to bite it. He might. Let's hold it still. He bite it? Jig it a little bit. Oh, look at him. See him looking at it? So we're all watching the camera, and there's this bluegill just staring down her bait. And all of a sudden, this other fish flies in out of nowhere. Got him? You got it. Did he get it? Yeah, you got him. You got him. Reel him in. Yeah, that's that awesome. That wasn't the fish one. Look at, no, it wasn't. Oh, there he is. Ooh, what type is that? That's a different kind right there. So that's your first fish through the ice, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a hold of him. It's a, it's a, it's a perch. Why can't you grab the top? Well, it's just easier to grab them. See those little spikes right there? Yeah. Feel that. They're like little needles. Awesome. Good job. Fish number one, many more to come, right? Uh, that was a pretty special moment. That's the bait right in front of his face? Yep. Did he bite it? Yeah. Tell Dad to get out of the way. How are you going to set the hook? Oh, yeah. I got him. You sure it's a fish? <laughs> there you go. Pull him out. Oops. Oh, he got off. Can't count that one. Get ready. Hold it still. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Go, go. <laughs> that's going to be a bigger one. Feel big? Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Want to take him off the hook? I don't know how. You hold him and I'll get him off. <laughs> there you go. You got death grip on him. Give him a kiss. Nah. Come on, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. I'm good. Should I let him go? Yeah, he wants a kiss. Look at him. He wants a kiss. Come on. Mm -mm. Do you want to? Jimmy Houston would kiss him. You want it? No. That's disgusting. <laughs> I was just trying to get you to do it. <laughs> Tired of watching you catch fish. Mm. Yeah, how many fish have you caught? Two. Two? Really? Yeah. Okay, that's another thing you need to know. Fishermen exaggerate a little bit. But even you're you're wrong. You caught you think you only caught two? You caught a perch? Oh, get ready. Think about it. I'll let you answer that again. How many fish did you catch? Ten. <laughs> now that's what fishermen are supposed to do, exaggerate, but no. How many did you really catch? For real? I think five. Did you? I don't know. I haven't counted. She caught four, didn't she? I think so, yeah. I said like. There you have it. You can say whatever you want. As long as you include the word like, you're good. I always wondered why they said that. Anything you notice that you can like share with the people out there that will help them catch fish? Get to know your stuff better. Like, what? like be able to read that and learn your equipment. Yeah. I like it. And dress warm. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's been a long but really cool day. Um, but now that everybody's gone, I just want to catch one more. Okay, just one more. I say that a lot. <laughs> I just barely got it down there. This is so, so fun. It's hard to leave, but come on up here. It feels like a big one. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. <sighs> awesome. So we had a lot of fun today, caught a ton of fish. I mean, over a hundred had to be. Um, and this is another good one. This is a keeper. This is anybody out here would keep one this big. Best eating fish, easiest fish in the world to catch. You can catch them on a bunch of different baits. You don't need a whole lot of fancy gear. 
uh, just to catch a bunch of bluegills like that. What an awesome day. I'm gonna drop it down there one more time. So like, we can say whatever we want to, true or not, it doesn't matter. Like, as long as we say the word like, we're good. Like. Yeah, Is this your favorite thing to do? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. You're just facing the camera at me, but it's probably not even on. Who cares? Oh, who cares? Who cares? Oh, who cares? Hey, Chris. You know what my favorite part of the day was? <laughs> You're gonna have to talk at some point. You remember that time? You remember that time when that bluegill peed on your camera lens? You remember that? I'm sorry. Attention all viewers! Do you have an extreme catch worthy of my bragging board? I'm Bob the Parent. Submit your favorite fish photo for a chance to get posted on my bragging board. Ah! You can also win some awesome prizes. Subscribe to the Erie Extreme YouTube channel for even more chances to win. And remember what I always say, save a worm for a bird. Why do I say that again? Ow! Ow! All right, you being a baby. See you okay where it's at? You can't see me, right? <laughs> nope. It's like you're not even there. Check out the Erie Extreme YouTube channel where you can get a more in-depth look, view raw uncut episodes, fun segments, a loud obnoxious parrot, and more. When you subscribe, you will be eligible to win extreme prizes, plus the chance to win a trip to fish with Dave on world famous Lake Erie. And remember, like our good friend Bob the Parrot always says, save a worm for a bird. Why do I say that again? Next week on Erie Extreme. And I will never use a fly. I'm Beyonce wore hip waders. This is what she would wear. It's gonna get cold. Oh, my feet are already cold. We're gonna follow some guys from Jamaica. Little did I know that we were gonna have to walk seven miles. <laughs> See, look at Carl, he does this all the time. He got the exact conditions I thought we were gonna have. Coyotes. Seems like an awful lot of work. That was my first fly rod cast ever. That was the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs>